Happy Lunar New Year everyone! This year is the Year of the Ox. People born in the Year of the Ox are strong, reliable, fair and conscientious, inspiring confidence in others. They are also calm, patient, methodical, and can be trusted. Although they say little, they can be very opinionated. They believe strongly in themselves, but are also stubborn and hate to fail or be challenged. Although they do not lose their temper easily, their anger can become explosive and impulsive. They are serious, quiet, and not naturally sociable, which can make them dull. Ox people have a great deal of common sense. You might be asking, just how accurate is this? Well, my brother is born in the year of the ox, and I can say from experience that, yeah, that stuff is pretty true. People who aren't familiar with the lunar calendar zodiac might be thinking that if you're born in the year of the ox, then you're gonna have a poster year. In reality though, if it's your year, you're gonna have bad luck. That's because since it's your turn for another trip around the zodiac circle, you're going to offend the god of age, Tai Sui. Well that's fair, just punishing people for something they have no control over. There are 11 other animals on the Lunar New Year Zodiac, and you might be thinking, how will people with those Zodiacs fare this year? Well, the TV channel CTI published a graphic outlining how the other animals will do in the Year of the Ox. Let's break it down. People in the Year of the Rat and the Horse will have good luck. I'm a horse. Let's go, baby! Woo! People born in the Year of the Ox and the Goat will offend Tai Sui and have a bad year. Why are people born in the year of the goat also offending Tai Sui? I don't know, maybe because the god of age has terrible eyesight and he can't tell the difference between two four-legged mammals with horns? I have a feeling that this episode of Hashtag Taiwan is going to offend the god of age and I just made things worse for all the horses out there. And if that's the case, then I have one thing to say to Tai Sui. Nay, good sir. Nay. Back to the graphic. Tigers need to be mindful of their health. Rabbits need to be careful overall. Dragons need to be weary when making investments. Snakes need to be careful of getting framed. Horses may have disagreements in their relationships. That's not good. Wait, why are horses on this list twice? Monkeys need to be careful of being misunderstood. Roosters may experience conflicts due to money problems. Dogs need to be careful in their dating lives. And pigs may see their friends receive more funeral notices. This doesn't sound like a good year for anyone. The only people having a good time are those born in the year of the rat and the year of the horse. And even then, horses aren't even coming out on top by a lot. This week, I'm going to end with a very special fan submission. Taiwan Insider viewer Jason Stevens saw how worked up I got last week when Natalie quizzed us on intrusive questions relatives ask over the Lunar New Year. He sent me a message saying, I just watched the show on questions you get asked at New Year. I think I found the correct sweater to wear. The hoodie says, Happy New Year, you're free to ask me questions. If you ask me about relationships, that will cost you 1200 new Taiwan dollars. Education questions are $300. Career questions are $800. Year-end bonus questions are $2,000. And questions about having children will cost $3,600. This is genius. This year, I'm going to let people ask me all sorts of questions and take the final bill out of the red envelope I was going to give them. Happy Moo Year, everyone. Don't let the God of Age get you down.